how's it going everyone? So today I'm gonna to be telling you about an issue I had with my heated visor plug on my 2019 SKU Renegade. So I had the local dealer install it for me. I bought it, but then I had a recall on my sled, so I just had them install it for me because it wasn't too expensive. But I um, recently was riding and the last video, my shield was fogging up and everything. So my first thought was, well, maybe it's the cord because those always go, or maybe it's the connector in my actual helmet. So I checked all that stuff out and that was good. So then the last place to check was the connector on the sled. So you can see, you can see I got the sled all pulled apart here. There's the hole where the uh, plug would go into. And then there's a little plastic cap right there that goes onto it. The issue I was having was it was loose. This the connector was loose and it looked like that. It was just loose and floating back and forth because that black cap on top got unscrewed. So that's exactly what the connection was doing like that. So I was getting very intermittent connection because there's no nut holding that piece down right there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna install, oop, we just dropped it. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install a nut on there to hold that ring terminal on. And then we're gonna reinstall it so we have a better ground connection because essentially I just had no connection, it was an open circuit. And you can see here too, you have to take apart the whole hood assembly and everything to get at this. So it was kind of a pain for a little, this little effort, but. Unless I can put a washer. And then on top of it there, we're gonna put a washer, like a star washer would be good. So we're gonna put it back through. And, lock it up. and then we're gonna put some Loctite on top of there on that plastic piece, but. Hopefully that works better. It was awful before it came loose. I installed it, I, that was last year, but it came loose only after maybe 200 miles of riding. So hopefully this holds it in better. Okay, so we tried having that nut on there like that, but there wasn't enough clearance when we put it into the visor plug hole. So yeah, so you can see that cap go on there. When you put it through though, there's not enough clearance to do all that. So we took that off. That was a scrapped idea. And we ended up just soldering it, the uh, ring terminal directly to the nut on the connector there. And that should be good. That's definitely not gonna come off. So now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall that. And then we're gonna put some Loctite on the top uh, connector plug there, the cap, that piece there. So we're not going to put Loctite on actually because Loctite is not good for plastic. So we're just going to put a little bit of sealant on there just to make sure those plastic threads grab onto that middle part of the plug there. Okay, so we got some, a little bit of goop on there, some silicone. And now we're going to go ahead and install the plastic. That's really just to hold it on there a little bit better. I want to make sure that's tightened down. If you're having issues too, you could always just try tightening the plug, but this will be a more longer lasting fix. Because this. That little uh, black plastic uh, screw there on top, that's what's holding the ground on, which is kind of ridiculous, but if you're having issues, it's worth checking that out first. So we got it all back together now. Seems pretty secure. Got it connected. Just gonna connect and put the connector up over there and then put the snowmobile back together, but that should be a lifetime fix, hopefully. So if you guys are having issues like this, definitely check out your ground ring terminal underneath the snowmobile. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Check out the rest of my channel. Subscribe if you like what you see. Take care and have a great day.